That's right, Dan. And now that we're past the point of sunrise, we can see the stark contrast between the morning sky and these dark black smoke, uh, this dark black smoke going up into the morning sky. Now, you can also notice that the fire is being attacked from a different angle from the FDNY Marine Unit. So they are keeping a close eye throughout the entire perimeter and hitting it at different angles. And this is very difficult because they are utilizing water from the bay and it's shooting up more than 100 feet and targeting those cars on the top deck. Now, more about these two victims, these two firefighters. One of those brave men was 45-year-old Augusto Akabu, who was with the department for nine years and just took the test to become a captain. The other was 49-year-old Wayne Brooks Jr. Many in the firehouse called him Teddy, saying he was soft and nice like a teddy bear. Now, as you can imagine, shipboard fires can be complex, and these images show infrared technology gave firefighters a better understanding of where the center of the fire was. The fire broke out on level 10 and spread to the levels 11 and 12. Five to seven cars initially caught fire among the 1,200 cars on this ship. Now, the ship was docked here at the port when it caught fire at around 9.30 Wednesday night, and first responders from all over the state were involved, and the New York City Fire Department aided as well. Now, many questions remain unanswered as they investigate what happened, but one question many ask is how or who will respond to future fires here at the port. The New York mayor describes the courageous effort by firefighters. Come out of a fire, take all of their things off, complete exhaustion from the point of passing out, then putting the stuff back on minutes later and getting in line to go back in again. Uh, I, I saw this over and over and over again. Now this fire, of course, evidently still under investigation and will be for quite some time, but we will get some new information from the Coast Guard and Port Authority later this morning at 10 a.m. during that press conference. We're live in Newark. Michelle Ross, Pix11 News.